All right, Evan, crunch time here on Q's Countdown. Hypothetical situation, SU makes the national championship game. Coming out of the final timeout, they're tied. Who do you got on the floor? That's a long way off from now, Ben. <laughs> but if this happens, I'm going with Fab Mello at the five. He's clearly the best big man on the team and the defensive player of the year in the Big East. On defense, he's going to be very valuable because he can go up with any center in the country, and that includes Anthony Davis of Kentucky, Ben, who, as you know, is a nightmare on the boards. Yeah, he's a long shot blocker, but i got to agree with you. Fab Mello at the five. And the next guy I have at the four, normally a guy that doesn't start. Normally when a team Christmas gets a start at the five, but in crunch time, I want a guy like C.J. Fair out in the four for me. And the reason I want C.J. Fair is because he's a shot blocker, kind of like Fab Mello. We saw in the final minutes against UConn, he had a big shot to save the game for SU at the end, and he can drive, he's got range, he can just do it all, and in crunch time, that's the kind of guy that you want on the floor. He's very versatile. Well, we're agreeing again, Ben. I'm going with Fair as well. And how about those highlight reel dunks he put together this year? Yeah. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Now at the three, moving down to small forward, best player on the team, Chris Joseph, senior leader, team leader in points, Naismith watch list. This guy's the whole package. He's probably a late first to mid, uh, early second round NBA draft pick. Chris Joseph has big things in his future. He's the, he might be the guy with the ball at the end of a game. Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. A guy in the, in the final seconds who's going to have the shot. I agree with you. Chris Joseph at the three, a senior leader. At the two, it's a guy that, again, doesn't start like C.J. Fair. Dion Waiters at the two. Big E, sixth man of the year. He's really got all the intangibles that C.J. Fair has at the guard position. He's a guy that's athletic. He can run out in transition, and he can go to drive to the basket and hit the three. As I said, just a guy that you really want on a four. Normally doesn't start, but in crunch time, he's going to hit the big shots for you. And how about Dion's defense this year? Leads the Big East in steals. I'm going with him as well. This is a guy who's committed to defense, has completely changed his game this year, and that's great. Yeah. All right, let's see if we go five for five now. My point guard is Brandon Trish, the junior. I love this guy at the point because he's not going to take the big shot unless it's good. He'll, deal, he'll dish the ball, and he's a much better defender than Scoop Jardine. I don't trust Scoop. I think he's a little too inconsistent. Bad Scoop comes out a little bit too often for my liking. He can have his intangible leadership off the bench. I don't know if Dion's happy because he left his cousin out there, but Scoop Jardine I'm going to have as my fifth guy out on the floor as a starting point guard. And I disagree with you. Brandon Trish is a guy that's passive. He's going to pass up a good shot. He's going to take a bad shot and then he's going to make a bad pass when it's unnecessary. I've seen him throw the ball over the heads of numerous teammates at times. Scoop Jardine, like Chris Joseph, a senior leader on this team, a floor general, he gets things done whether they're up at the end of a game or down at the end of a game. He's going to keep the energy up for this SU team as a senior leader. Well, I guess we're going to agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> Four out of five, but hey, whatever this shakes out, pretty good lineup on the floor.